The procedure begins with chlorhexidine prepping. Drapes are placed as shown. There's usually no need for sedation. Precise administration of 10 milliliters long-acting anesthesia using ultrasound guidance allows for a completely painless procedure. Inject some of the local into the pericardial space, as some patients experience pain in the next step, where it's pierced with a wide bore cannula. A 2cc syringe attached to the steel cannula acts as a handle, which facilitates tip control. Note the very clear puncture of the pericardium and visually confirm that the cannula enters the black void that is the effusion, away from the beating heart. With the cannula in place, insert the guide wire. When it's inside the pericardium, some back and forth sweeping can be done to remove septa if the fluid has been standing for a long time. Next, dilate and place the pigtail. Note the small skin entry. This will help making sure there is no bleeding later on. A rotating motion will help if the pericardium is tough. Thread the pigtail and see to it to insert at least 10 centimeters. It's generally best to aspirate before fixation. Push and pull the pigtail repeatedly while aspirating to reach all of the effusion. When all of the fluid's been removed, leave at least 15 cm of the pigtail inside the patient. Then lock the pigtail using the wire. Make sure the catheter is secured and use gauze to prevent any pressure on the skin. Note the perfect location, far caudal and dorsal, and the fluid is gone.